there a dog behind me? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry! I'm so sorry, Bentley. It's like a guilty pleasure, scaring Bentley. Oh, you're scaredy dog. I'm so sorry for scaring you. I don't know why I love it so much. It's just because it's so hard. I always try to sneak up on them and they can hear, they're like, dogs have such good hearing. So I always, every single chance I get when the dog's looking the other direction, I just like sneak up really quietly. This is like the second time today. What a sucker. I used to do that with my, um, with my, my actual dog, the German Shepherd. I could never sneak up on him. Of course now I can because he's like deaf, but I could never sneak up on him. I'm sorry, why you do that to me? It makes me hurt. You really do smell like Thai food and not in a good way. Like, I can't stand it. Okay, I feel bad for what I did to Bentley, so. Hey Bentley, do you wanna go? Let's go, let's go. Are you ready to go to the dog park, Bentley? Yeah? You're gonna have to do me a little favor, though. We're gonna have to make a deal. If you go there, then we're gonna have to go and take a bath afterwards, okay? Okay, sir? You wanna come in the front, Bentley? Right here? Good dog. Yeah. Let's go to the park. The front seat is so small for our Bentley. Is there a dog behind me? <laughs> Bentley can tell, he can smell it. We're at the dog park. He's like, I can smell it. I smell it, let me out. But there's nobody else here. So you're not gonna be able to make any friends. Okay, you're free, go, go. This is what the dog park looks like in the daytime. Last time we came, it was in the dark of night. So this is what it looks like. Did you find a clue? Did you find a clue? Scooby clue? Oh, you're marking your- He's making a blues clues. He's making clues. Smelling, walking around. Watch my step, watch my step. Don't want to step in any poop. He's got to scour, scout the whole place out. Oh, good thing there's bags here. I gotta throw away the dog poop in the trash can. I wonder what the trash cans in the dog park are filled with. <laughs> What's up? I wanna play with that, oh, it's a disgusting ball. There it goes. What, are you rabies or something? What are you doing? What's up? Homeward Bound 5. Yay! You guys remember that? I don't even remember. Do you remember any of the dog's names in Homeward Bounds? There was Shadow, Sassy. Um, I can't remember the, the other dog's name. Put in the comments below if you remember. I can't remember the other dog's name. He can be in the sequel, Homeward Bound 32. Yeah! He like gallops like a horse. You gallop like a horse, Bentley. And just for backwards day sakes, let's watch this. Here it goes. <laughs> this ball is so disgusting. I tried giving him the other balls that I found here and he doesn't want it. He wants this disgusting one. Ah, good job. <laughs> the other dog shows no interest in Bentley. <laughs> what is this digging holes in the sand? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you up to? Okay, one last time, one last throw. Oh, now it's all sandy too. Ah! Good dog. I hope you're tired enough now. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't want that ball. Yeah, good dog. You a smelly dog. You a you a smelly dog. You a smelly dog. Yeah, you a you a smelly dog. Okay, it's time for bath time with Bentley. Come on, Bentley. Bath. Come on, come, come on. You know the drill. You got all dirty, so come on. Good dog, good dog. Come on. Go inside the bath. Nah, ah, ah, ah. Inside, come on. 
Good job. Good job. Don't worry. This is going to be so much fun. Again, my disgusting, smelly bed. Hey, Bentley. This is ridiculous. Oh, he's like, why isn't it alive anymore? <laughs> Just. Hey, come on now. It's not going to come back alive. I unplugged it, sir. My nemesis. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> All clean. All clean. You're so spoiled. Huh? I know. You got so many, like, walks today. Oh. My gosh, oh. I like this quote. Do not pray for an easy life. Pray for the strength to endure a difficult one. Bruce Lee. That's up. I'm heading off to the gym now. See you there. <laughs> Cytogainer protein shake. So Aaron, you have some explaining to do. What are these chains? Oh, the chains? What are they used for? <laughs> Explain. It's just like a like resistance training. Yeah. They're like heavy, right? They're heavy. They're pretty heavy. It's kind of like, you know, when you put bands on the bar or bands on things to so increase the resistance yeah. at different points. So it's like more like the resistance as you lift higher up. You're lifting more chains, right? Yeah, so, so where you're more strong, you're okay. heaviest. Yeah. And where you're weakest, it's the lightest. Okay. And it teaches you to kind of accelerate. Does it work? I don't know. It's the first day of it. <laughs> what does it feel like? Did it feel any different? Uh, I'm pretty sore. <laughs> and what are these? What'd you get here? This is his casein. This is your pre-workout. Pre yeah. Salt. This is a good flavor. Orange mango. Pretty good. Aaron likes these pre-workouts the most. It has like, what is it? It's like a mixture of like creatine, B vitamins. They were on sale too, so I bought six. Yeah, <laughs> you bought six of them? Oh my gosh. I guess I, if you're gonna use it. Hey guys, what's up? It's so late. It's already like 10.30. I'm gonna make dinner right now. I'm just gonna make the ramen really fast. Got the rest of my smoked ham here. Got my Napa cabbage I'm gonna stir fry and boiling the water. Check it out, the noodles are done. I'm gonna put it inside the soup base here. And if you were wondering how I cook the ramen, since I didn't really show you guys in this video, I have a vlog where I actually show you how I cook my ramen, which is called My Way of Cooking Ramen. That's the name of the episode. I will post a link in the description below and right over here, and right over here. And you can check it out. It'll open a new window. And here's today's ramen, super, super fast. And I made it in 15 minutes. Most of the time I was just waiting for the water to boil. <laughs> Back to IWasteSoMuchTime.com I thought this was hilarious. <laughs> Ugh, last year Obama said he was 50. This year he says he's 51. Which is it, Obama? Mwaha, <laughs> I gave that pitch vibrato. Pitches love vibrato. What? Look at the swing set. What's... are you serious? This one, which I really liked. Colgate has created a very ingenious advertising campaign to promote their dental floss, but before scrolling down, take some time to appreciate the following images. Image number one. Image number two. 
image number three. All right, now that you had time to have observed the images in the first one, you will now notice that the lady has one finger too many in her hand. What? Did you notice that? In the second one, a phantom arm is resting on the guy's shoulder. <laughs> and in the third one, the man has only one ear. The campaign attained its purpose because it proved that food remaining in your teeth draws more attention than any physical defect. So, you'll need to floss your teeth, the most important thing. Okay guys, it's getting late. I'm gonna head to bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah! Good night. Okay, all this laundry's been here for too long. I think it's time to fold. Now fold! Oh my gosh, look, it's all clean. All the laundry's done. Yeah. Ice cream sandwich time. <laughs>